Hello, everyone. My name's Jerry. I'm a twin troller boat owner. This is my boat, and we're not going fishing today because we broke something, and we got to fix it. In a recent video, I showed you this little clip when I found something wrong with the trailer. I just happened to put my hand on this bunk, and this is what I found. Now, I don't know how long it's been like that. The uh, lag bolts that are uh, here that go into the bottom of this, these are, both of them are here, these are missing. So they probably vibrated loose. You should check yours the next time you have the boat off the trailer. After I found that problem with the boat trailer, I fixed it. Uh, it was missing two screws uh, under the bunk and the bunk uh, was sliding back and forth. When I put in new screws, I actually used lag bolts, which were thicker, wider than the screws that were in there because I wanted something that would grab the wood a little bit better. When I put it in, I had to do something more because it still didn't grab the wood very well. I thought that was odd, but I had the lag bolts already. I actually had to grind the tips off so that it would fit and not go all the way through the two by four into the bottom of the boat. I actually filled the threads with a 15 minute epoxy, screwed them in there, and that's where it's been ever since. I figured the job was done. Well, watch this video. This is after I took the boat out the very next time. And when I went back to the tow vehicle, I spotted this problem. As I went to launch the boat today, I happened to notice that this bunk seems to be funny shaped. So I grabbed a hold of this bunk and now I see why that the bolts came loose here. This is broken and maybe even rotted because I can squeeze it here. So we're going to change the bunks. So as you can see, I have to do something and I got to do something now. We're about ready to go into at least a first stage of the spawning season and I anticipate doing some more fishing. So I want that fixed. Come with me. We're going to do that. Well, how are we going to fix that? As you can see, the boat is full of all my stuff. This is basically the way how it was stored. Uh, it's got my rods, my gear, my tackle all in it, and it's still on the trailer. Now I can just go down to the boat launch, park the boat on the shoreline after taking it off the trailer, and then try and fix it down at the boat launch. I am going to replace the bunk, probably both bunks, that's not really something I'm going to do at the boat launch. How are we going to do it here with the boat on top of the trailer? I can somehow try and get it off of there. I tried doing that in the past. I had to empty thing, everything off. It wasn't easy. So I'm not going to do that. Let me show you what kind of repair we're going to do. Well, what is this? This is boat carpeting. I bought it for a previous boat uh, that I had in the past on a bass boat, a ranger, and I still happen to have it. I'm gonna use it. However, it's a couple of inches short. The bunks are five foot long, and I'm gonna use this. I'm probably gonna to have to go diagonal across it to get the right length to make the full five foot, because I don't wanna piece it. I'll figure out what to do on the second bunk after I get the first one done, because the first one is the bad one. I can live with the second one the way how it is, at least for now. And maybe after I get the old bunk out, I can strip off the old uh, carpet material and use it again. Okay, I'm under the boat and the trailer. And I gotta take, these are the two lag bolts I put in. I've gotta take uh, a couple of more screws off at the other end. It would be a waste of your time to watch me unscrew something, so I'll get right back with you. But what do I have to do first? Well, first I gotta get the boat in such a way that I can get under here. Because once I take the bunk off, the boat will tip to one side and be rubbing on these metal brackets. So I'm gonna lift the boat and I'm gonna put a two by six underneath the bunk here 
to have it hopefully lifted and I'll push the whole boat over to one side. The screws are all out of the bunk. Let's see if we can wiggle it out of here. Well, there we go. When I use the epoxy on those two lag bolts in the back, the epoxy stuck to the carpet. I couldn't get it out at first. It's stuck on the other side now. <clears throat> Got it. All right. Out it comes. Okay, here's the the bunk like i said it's five foot long 60 inches it's a two by four i can tell by the dimensions So you can see this end is rotted and broken. And I suppose that makes sense when I have the boat on the trailer and it's in the parked in the garage after it comes in from fishing. I tip the boat up like this to just let everything drain. So this end is getting wet and stays wet all the time. It's got, looks like some mold under there. but it doesn't look too bad on the carpet. So I will probably turn this around and put it back on this way because what little wear there is, is right here on the end and that's the end that goes into the water first. So I'll just turn it around. To me, this two, it's a normal dimensional two by four. It kind of looks like it's a pressure treated I don't smell anything. It smells normal, but it's kind of got a greenish hue and maybe it's from being wet and being covered over with the, uh, uh, with the carpet. Uh, so maybe it was never pressure treated to begin with. I need to go to the store. I'm going to go buy two 60 inch, five foot, two by fours, pressure treated, and I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a flash. Well, it's magic. I'm back. This is a pressure treated, see the pressure treat tag? Two by four, 60 inches long. Here's the old carpet. This fits perfectly inside of it. I got this backwards because it's upside down right now. Okay. This fits perfectly over the old one. <clears throat> All right, let's try a staple. Now I also bought four stainless lag bolts. Uh, they're inch and a half. They won't be sticking through. And I did that so that I can, they have a hex head and I can use the 7 16 socket and I can drive them in that way rather than hand trying to screw them in. And when I get under there, I'm gonna make some pilot holes with a drill bit. Drill it where the holes are just so that I can get these started a little bit. We're gonna put this one in, same way it came out.
Okay, it's about the right distance, even with the other one. Let me, let me take my support out, because I can always move it over. That's good. Okay, let's get the other one. Okay, that one's in. The length up here to the old one is the same length as here. So I now have it positioned exactly the way how it was originally. Okay, we're on. Now, I guess, let's just do the other side. Since I got all my stuff out here and I got everything ready. Now I'm not gonna bother showing you all that. It's the exact same thing. I'm just gonna lift this up, put this two by six underneath this side to get it off this bunk. I'll take the screws out and remove this bunk. Put the carpet, this carpet, turn it around, put it on the other brand new pressure treated 2x4, and then I'll slide it back in. When I get all done, I'll show you. Here's the other bunk. The bad wood is on the top, and as you can see, this one isn't rotten all the way through, but it's looking kind of nasty. Here is the new wood with the same uh, bunk material on top of it. And as I did before, I'm going to turn it around. This will go at the top. It's a little bit worn, but not much. This will go at the bottom. So it's opposite directions of where it was. Okay, I don't know how good of a picture this is because I'm kind of shooting into the light, but both uh, bunks are now replaced. They're all lined up and they look good. I'll admit it probably would have been easier to take the boat off the trailer, but if you don't have the ability to do that, I wanted to show you that you could do it this way. Well, everything's done. The boat's back in its uh, stored position. I still got some things I got to pick up here, get my tools home, and put, get them all put away. But it went out well. I'm very happy with the way how this went. And like I said, it took a little bit maybe more effort doing this with the boat on the trailer than certainly would have been with it off, but it's just the way how it goes. And sometimes you need to do things in not necessarily the best position. Now I have plenty of other videos uh, on my channel here of all kinds of things that I've done, repairs, fixes, changes, modifications to my boat or about fishing and things like that. So. Feel free to look at those. I hope you have a happy new year. Today's New Year's Day and I'm doing this, but it's something I needed to do because I want to go fishing. So come back later, 
and we'll go fishing. Have a nice day. Bye now.